Last time I came to Costco and bought some golf clubs, the video went crazy. So guess what? I'm back. I'm gonna go in Costco and see what I can find. I normally do some golf gear. Seen them do the Callaway Edge clubs in the past, reviewed them. Kirkland wedges, Kirkland balls. What else is there? Let's go have a quick scour. And it's not a paid ad. You'll see me spending my hard earned money. And let's see what is available in Costco. Let's buy it, let's review it. Okay, golf section, Costco. There's these that have caught my eye. Cobra XL Speed, 10 piece complete set. Driver, three wood, hybrid, six iron down to pitch wedge, sand wedge, play putter, 480 pound. Let's give these a test. Last thing I've actually spotted, and it's a new ball. So you've seen on my channel before, I've tested these ones, link up there in the corner, and actually thought they were pretty good. But on closer inspection, these are version two of the same ball. Let's buy them. I might do these in another video coming soon, but let's pick these up as well. And just like that, I'm at the golf course, Cobra XL Speed. Uh, it doesn't come with a bag, so I've brought my empty golf bag to load this up. Let's unbox it, see what's inside. What's interesting, there is literally no information on the box at all, bar what clubs you actually get. So this is gonna be a bit of a mystery. And then, to be honest, I'm just gonna go and play a bit of golf, maybe nine holes. It's a tough day, because it's pretty windy. But I'll see what these clubs can do. Will I shoot under par, level par, or will it go completely wrong and I shoot way over par? Idiot. First off, let's see what's in this set. And just like that, we've got a set of clubs. Initial looks is not terrible. Like they actually look better in real life than they do in the box. We've got a six iron, seven iron, eight iron, nine iron, pitching wedge, sand wedge. We've got a putter, which I must admit, on first inspection looks like the best club in the bag so far. Really nice quality head cover. Like check that out, that is padded and it's furry. Actually, one of the nicest Cobra putters I've seen. Bit of a milling on the face. With a nice little thick lampkin grip as well. Big fan of that. And then we've got a 23 degree hybrid, so that's like a, a five iron effectively. This is a 15 degree three wood. Again, better looking in real life than in the box. That's actually quite a cool little feature. Kind of these stripes on top for alignment. And then lastly, the driver, the big stick. What we're we gonna see under here. 10.5 degrees. Again, not the worst looking head in the world. Huge face. And actually kind of those go faster stripes on top, which again, I'm a fan of. First impressions, impressive. Couple of downsides, you can only get them in regular. So these are gonna be a little bit soft for me, obviously. And you could have maybe come done with one more lofty club past the sand wedge. Maybe a lob wedge wouldn't be a bad addition to this set. But that's, you know, that in the bag, that's not a bad set of clubs. So let's go nine holes here at the Marriott. I was just filming some close-ups then. It's two things I've spotted. Number one, the driver. The paintwork on this driver just overlaps the face. Now, for a lot of people, they might not see that as a big concern, but who are gonna likely buy these clubs is maybe a high handicapper who might not always hit the middle of the face and might sometimes hit the crown of the club with the ball. So in this video, I think we need to do a sky test just to see if there's much paint that might chip off if we hit a bad one. And another thing I've noticed, as much as I absolutely love so many ele elements of this putter, there's something I've picked up on. The grip isn't on straight. When you hold the grip straight, the face sits about maybe three to four degrees open. So the problem with that, if I hold this dead straight, the grip, that face might cause me to miss shots to the right when I'm putting. Either way, let's see what I can do. What do you reckon my chances are of shooting close to level par for nine holes on a wet, windy day here in Manchester? Straight out of the block, straight down the middle of the fairway. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I did not see that coming. Nothing about that club for some reason filled me with confidence then. Whether it was the loft or the softer shaft. However, I've managed to nail one down the fairway. 140, eight iron, second shot into the first. That has missed the green to the right. Gain. <laughs> Not very good, that one. 
after such a bloody good drive, that is a very disappointing bogey. Second tee shot with that driver, pretty good result again. It almost like headed towards the green with it being a bit downwind, but I don't think it's got there. It'll be near the front anyway. Hello. <laughs> Hello. That was a bit nice. Okay, come on, for birdie. Go back to level par. Very nice. I think I'm the best driver on the planet at the moment. <laughs> okay, second shot into the hardest hole on the golf course. Into win now, 180 yards. I could do with a four iron really, but I don't have one because I've got a five hybrid or a three wood. I have to go soft little three wood. Oh, it's a bullet. It is a bullet, be good. Oh, it's on the back edge of the green. You know what, honestly, so far, so good. Go. <laughs> oh, that is such a terrible putt. The one thing, as much as I'm a fan of this putter, looks wise, it's very, very light in the head. <sighs> That's a really annoying bogey. Tiny bit left. I need to hit them. Four holes done, one over par. I'm enjoying the club so far. There's not a lot of things that I've found that I've not enjoyed, but I like I said, just the weight of this putter head. I thought I was going to fall to the right, didn't. A par. Okay, you know what? I'm feeling confident and I'm hitting driver pretty well. Probably the best I've ever hit at the moment. I'm 260 yards away. Into wind. Driver's coming out. Off the deck. If I can pull this off, it'd be pretty amazing. It's not bad. Get up there. Go. Go. Oh my friggin' lord, that's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, what a shot. Look at this, front edge. You know what? It's a little chance for eagle. Now that would be a turn up for the Bucks. Ah. <laughs> All that hype and I've knocked it five foot past. Absolute idiot. <sighs> Seventh hole, par three. Seven iron in hand. It's an inviting pin position. Oh, that's a terrible golf shot. It's got to travel, or it could be wet. No, I got that wrong. That's gone through the back of the green. Fade, 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 fade. Get up there. Get up. Oh. Last hole, par three, six iron in hand. Come on, make one more birdie. Try and get back to level par. That's going to have to travel. Get up there. Oh, it's bloody amazing. <laughs> Look at that for a final shot into this ninth green. Right. Before I knock that in for birdie, let me talk about these golf clubs. Bought them from Costco. For a set that's in a package that's from a major brand, Cobra, they have impressed me today. Things to call out. Driver, very good. It has been. I've hit most fairways. It seems fairly forgiving. Doesn't seem really short either. It's not perfect for me. 10.5 degree regular, but it still works. That comes into a little bit of a downside. Obviously, you can't get custom fit for these clubs but you can't for a lot of package sets. Woods, again, really good. Three wood was good. I hit some nice shots with that. And then the irons, as a overall rule, they've been good. I think they're a bit stronger lofted, so they might go a bit further than what maybe I expect. But even a shot like that, that was a shot into the last hole there. 182 yards, I think it was. Hit a six iron, which is about what I'd normally hit. And even then I've hit from that way, it's landed there 
pulled up, got this put for birdie, and I didn't hit it brilliantly well. Couple of other things to consider as potential downsides, it doesn't come with a bag. So obviously you're gonna have to go out and fork out for a bag, but sometimes in package sets, a bag doesn't always fit everybody's liking. Sometimes you might want a carry bag and it doesn't come with one, it comes with a trolley bag and vice versa. Overall, I'm impressed with these clubs. They do look very good and they've performed well. However, you heard me mention before on the first tee, I've got two concerns. The first one is definitely this putter grip. It just is not on straight. And it might be no coincidence that I've not held anything today. What's crazy is on the outset, I love everything about this putter. I love the look of it, the feel of the grip. I love the head cover. It's a little bit light in weight, but that open face definitely doesn't fill me with confidence. And the other thing, as I mentioned on the first tee, the driver, as much as it's been good, I was somewhat concerned that the paint almost overlapped the, look, the face a little bit. And if you misstrike it, sky it, is that gonna damage the club? Well, I've done that test. I've hit about five or six shots, really badly skied off the top of the head. And as much as you see some ball mark on there, the paint has not chipped off. And that's a real positive for this set. Right, to finish this off, birdie. To get to level par, I really, really want to hold this. Come on, one good putt. <laughs> it's the grip's fault. It's the bloody grip. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And we shall see you next time. Ah! <laughs>